What's up guys, welcome back to the Artificial Sweetener Shill channel. We just defend them from nonsensical attacks from anti-artificial zealots. And there's been a lot of research recently published with regards to artificial sweeteners, which is why we've been talking about it a lot. And people ask me about it a lot, so we're talking about it. If you don't like it, then you should leave a comment, click the like button, and subscribe, because I hate it when you do that. Now, Let's talk about this most recent study. So this is a systematic review and meta-analysis where they examined replacement of sugar-sweetened beverages with either artificially sweetened beverages that are low calorie or no calorie and replacement of sugar-sweetened beverages with water on body weight and cardiometabolic risk factors. So this examined about 1,700 participants across 24 different trials and the median follow-up time was about 12 weeks with these people. Now the studies were anywhere from three to 52 weeks, but as long as they met the inclusion criteria, they were allowed into this meta-analysis. And I didn't see anything wrong with their inclusion criteria. So basically they had to either substitute sugar-sweetened beverage with water or with low or no calorie sweetened beverages and they had to report different cardiometabolic risk factors. It had to be at least two weeks long, but like I said, the, the shortest one was three weeks long, and they reported body weight or some measure of adiposity. One of the things I get a lot when I do these artificial sweetener videos is virtue signaling from people like, there's nothing better than water, and why can't people just drink water, and blah, 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 water. Water's great. I'm not gonna argue against water. But for some people, it's very difficult for them to stop consuming sugar-sweetened beverages unless they have something similar to replace it with. If they're able to use something that helps them limit their calorie intake, why are we shaming them for that? It's almost like these anti-artificial people are like, you need to hate your diet and not enjoy it and it should taste bad and you should like that it tastes bad. If you can take something in that tastes good and it doesn't have negative effects, what the problem be? So let's look at what the data actually says because data is more important than your feelings. Let's look at the data of substituting water for sugar-sweetened beverages. The only real difference they saw amongst all these markers, and they looked at markers of adiposity, including body weight, BMI, body fat percentage, uh, waist circumference. They looked at glycemia. They looked at blood lipids, blood pressure, liver fat, and liver health markers, as well as uric acid. They did not see any differences in pretty much anything when it was recommended to substitute water for sugar-sweetened beverages. No differences in body weight, no differences in BMI, no differences in body fat, and no differences in the markers of glycemia. Nothing statistical anyway. The only thing that really approached significance was intrahepatic lipids, but they still did not reach a level of significance. Now, what does the data say about substituting artificially sweetened beverages for sugar-sweetened beverages? Well, they saw a significant reduction in body weight, BMI, and body fat percentage. They also saw a small reduction in intrahepatic lipids, and they also had a small reduction in fasting blood glucose, it appears. So when people are like, well, it's not better than water. Actually, according to the data, it might be. Now, are artificial sweeteners fat burners? No, no, no. It's not that there's anything special about artificial sweeteners. However, what is likely based on this is that when people attempt to stop drinking sugar-sweetened beverages, if they just try to replace it with water, they end up seeking out that sweet flavor somewhere else. Whereas if they replace it with artificially sweetened beverages, they don't seek it out somewhere else. And so that's probably why it's able to have these effects on body weight, adiposity, and some glycemia markers because it's reducing their calorie intake. That's a good thing. Let's look at when they directly compare substituting low and no calorie beverages for water. Okay, so when those are substituted in place of water. And again, I'm not saying that's all they drink throughout the day. Like the studies have been like two servings of artificially sweetened beverages per day versus uh, instead of two servings of water. So when they directly compare them, so again, they see a significant decrease in body weight when substituting artificially sweetened beverages compared to water. Now they did see a small but statistically significant increase increase in HbA1c when substituting artificially sweetened beverages for water. But again, they didn't see that in replacing water for sugar-sweetened beverages or with artificially sweetened beverages being substituted for sugar-sweetened beverages. So I'm not really worried about a really small increase in HbA1c, especially given the other markers. And they did see a significant reduction in systolic blood pressure when it came to substituting artificially sweetened beverages for water. What does this 
meta-analysis tell us? Honestly, this meta-analysis doesn't really tell us anything I haven't already been saying. At the end of the day, it's really about reducing calories when it comes to this stuff. Do I think you should not drink water and instead drink artificially sweetened beverages? No, that's not what I'm saying. And I'm not telling you you should consume artificially sweetened beverages. What I'm telling you is that if you are able to drink water and you don't have a craving for sweet stuff, awesome, drink up, drink water. If you are used to drinking sugar-sweetened beverages and you're trying to stop, then artificially sweetened beverages may help you suppress that craving more than water. All right, guys, if you liked the video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, click the links in the description, and I'll catch you next week.